We want to go to a physician and a senior public health contributor for Forbes, Dr. Omar Awan. He joins us now. And doctor, before we begin, let's take a moment to remind people what measles is and just how dangerous it can be. It's more than just a rash or a sore throat, right? It absolutely is. It's an extremely contagious virus. It's more contagious than things like COVID, flu, even polio. One of the most contagious viruses that we have, you know, around us. And yes, as you said, it can result in fever, sore throat, uh, cough, ready eyes, watery eyes, but it can also lead to really serious complications, things like pneumonia or infection of the lung, encephalitis or swelling of the brain, even blindness, deafness, and death. So it's an extremely serious disease that has resulted in uh, major debilitation throughout the world. Uh, thousands of people die of this every year, and it's something that we should absolutely take very seriously. And one of the areas of the country that's gotten a lot of attention is Gaines County, Texas. There, 82% of the population got the MMR vaccine. That seems like a pretty high percentage. So why did that county see such a severe outbreak where more than 400 people were infected? Well, it's not high enough, Andrew, because the herd immunity rate really needs to be 95%. And herd immunity is the immunity that's confirmed upon a population when a certain percentage of the population gets vaccinated. So that protects everyone else. And for measles, because it's so contagious, it really needs to be 95%. So when these rates drop as they have in not only Texas, but actually all throughout America, uh, we start to see many more measles cases. And that's precisely what's happening now with over 1,300 cases. And this is largely a result of decreased vaccination rates. If we take a look at the numbers of 1,300 cases that we have, 92% of them have been in unvaccinated individuals. So this is largely an outbreak of unvaccinated individuals who have failed to get the vaccine and hence why measles is spreading all throughout America. Let's say you're watching this right now. You have a child, a grandchild who is vaccinated. Do you still have to worry about those who chose not to vaccinate uh, their children? Well, vaccination does confer excellent protection. I mean, if you get two shots of the vaccine, you're 97% protected against getting measles. So it's not perfect, but it's very good. It's, it's as if you're not going to get measles. But as it spreads, you know, as we know, you know, vaccine immunity wanes with time, uh, not so much for measles, but it does certainly. And then if there's a large burden of the virus in the population, that can potentially weaken immunity with time. So it's very important for people to get vaccinated because not only are you protecting yourself, you're protecting others and you're protecting others that may not be able to protect themselves. So people that have weakened immune systems who have like chronic medical conditions like heart disease or lung disease, even infants who are very young, uh, they can get infected because they can't get vaccinated. And also older individuals, you know, people who are 65 years of age and older, uh, they need to be cautious too because they have weakened immune systems and immunity wanes over time. So very important for everyone to get vaccinated if possible. And, you know, it's interesting. These spikes are not just happening in the U.S. Europe has also seen a spike in measles. I think some other parts of the world have as well. What do you think accounts for that? It's really multifactorial, Andrew. I think, you know, part of it is just the sheer amount of misinformation out there. I mean, if you go to social media, we see all these posts about how vaccines aren't effective or, you know, vaccine can lead to autism, vaccine can lead to chronic medical conditions, Va getting the vaccine will make you sicker. And we, of course, know that that's not true. We know that, you know, vaccines are responsible for saving millions of lives worldwide. I mean, we see a lot of misinformation and that obviously is going to cause people to be a little hesitant to get the vaccine. And this vaccine hesitancy has really spiraled out of control has led to public mistrust in science and vaccines. And this is why we're starting to see a resurgence, not just here in America, but certainly everywhere, including Europe, as you just stated, and through other parts of the world. So we need to develop and build public trust in science and vaccines, and people need to be encouraged to get the vaccines in order for us to you know, turn the tide on this uh, outbreak of measles. All right, senior public health contributor for Forbes, Dr. Omar Awan. Sir, thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Thanks for having me, Andrew.